it's Kelly. So, if you haven't seen the length of this video, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or whatever your favorite beverage is because this is going to be a while. I'm going to do something that I have not done before. I've done scrapbook album shares, but I've not done layout shares. I'm going to do that today because I've had a couple of requests on message boards that I've been posting these layouts to. I, uh, two weeks ago, if you're watching this more real time, was at a scrapbook retreat. It's a full three days, so three solid days of scrapbooking. We're there Thursday um, at noon, for all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then we have to be out of there Sunday at noon, and I usually pack up about nine o'clock or so on Sunday morning, scrapbook two or three layouts, and then I'm ready to pack up. Although this time I, my emoji was going, and I went a little bit later, but not much, but because I know once I get home, I'm, it's going to be stopped because then I don't have to unpack. But anyway, um, so I call it three solid days. In those three days, I did 65 layouts. So not the most I've ever done, but close there. I did 90 layouts one year, 90 some layouts, because I was doing one of my nephew's wedding albums. And those are very simple layouts. The wedding albums are um, in my playlist. If you want to see wedding layouts, I have them grouped. So those tend to be even more simple. But anyway, I did 65 layouts. I get two questions every time I post that I've done 65 layouts in a weekend. Number one is, do you do page kits? Do you create page kits? And number two is, do you pre-plan anything? And my answer to both of those questions is no. I seriously do not pre-plan a thing when I do this. I had a couple of goals. One of them was to finish my any photos that I still had left from 2017 which was about 10 photos or so maybe a little bit more than that because I have photos of my stepson and his family this winter I'm going to take apart take their layouts out of my albums and turn them over to them for their family albums they've just moved they have a bigger house they can now fit those albums so number one goal finish anything for 2017 which I did then I um wanted to finish any running layouts I had. I've been on a big journey for the last year. If you've watched my channel, I've lost 58 pounds and I started running a year ago in September, ran a 5k turkey trot on Thanksgiving and um, run 10ks all the time now, which is 6.2 miles for you to, that you don't know. I ran an official 10k in September and I um, am going to train for a half marathon next year. So I needed to get all my running layouts done. I had a bunch of those. You'll see a bunch of them in their two pagers. And then my third goal was start to start my great nephew's um, baby album. I'm doing a baby album for my um, niece, my nephew and his wife, who I call my niece. But um, I don't want to call them niece and nephew or you're going to wonder what's going on in my family. Anyway, um... So I also did that. So I met all of my scrapbooking goals and made 65 pages. Let me call them pages because I consider, um, some people will call a layout, you know, obviously a double page layout. So any double pages, I counted as single pages. So that's 65 pages. Anyway, so here is my setup. I will post pictures of these. This is my table. I'm hoping you can see this fairly decently. Um, we have a six foot table. Normally, uh, there's lots of room here, so normally I have another six-foot table behind me with my product on it, and I basically bring it the way I store it at home, so like this basket of embellishments sits on my desk to my left hand, just like it is here. Um, these little plastic containers with my flare and buttons sit in a drawer right next to me. This is a, a basket of um, enamel dots that sits next to me. These are my journaling cards, three by four cards that sits right out in front of me at home. So I, and then here's my little uh, flower pot of tools. So that sits just to my left hand at home. So my structure when I go to a crop is, or a retreat, I should say, is very much like I scrapbook at home. I don't do a lot of things different than what I do at home. Okay, so that's a desk, my trimmer ATG. Then here is that table just to the left of me. Here are all the Cropper Hopper paper keepers with my papers in it that I brought. And um, 
I don't, I used to store my paper this way. I don't anymore. Now they're just in the smaller envelopes in my calyx shelf, but this is how I store them at a retreat and they're all alphabetized. So it makes it easy for me to find it. My die cuts are stored in this basket in about the same location. My thickers are over here. I have that. I have twine and stamps and ink here. Um, some miscellaneous embellishments. Uh, some of the, you see me use the L Studio cut aparts all the time. So those were sitting right to my left hand so I could grab them easily. And then my boxes of photos. And there was one less of those when I left. So anyway, I'll post these. Hopefully I'll remember to post them at the end. So, all right. So that's the structure. You know the answers to the big questions. No, I don't plan anything. And no, I don't use page, um, I don't make page kits. The reason I don't make page kits, honestly, is because I find them hard to use. They feel very limiting to me. And I know that's crazy because I'm obviously a designer for Cheeky Studio and I get a kit of product, but it's a lot less limiting to me because there's more choices than if I just put, okay, these things in this that I'm gonna use for this photo. I wanna be able to design on the fly. I don't scrapbook in chronological order. I do what inspires me, thus why I bring all the supplies that I do. And I have room to do it. This is, the retreat space is only an hour away from me and I fill my car, honestly. And I'm good with that. That works for me. Whatever works for you guys, works for you guys. So anyway, let's get started. Like I said, grab a beverage. <laughs> so, um, this is the first layout. I will try to tell you what collections I used if I know. Um, if you have specific questions out of spe about a specific layout, let me know that if there's a title to it. It'll help me a little bit and I'll try to get the answers for you. Unlike when I do a YouTube video, I obviously didn't um, write anything down here because I didn't plan to do this until somebody on a message board asked me. So um, this is uh, brand new simple stories or fairly new simple stories boy collection. I believe it's called Little Dude or Little Lil Dude. And my style is pretty uh, straight lines and layered. So you're going to see a lot of paper layers here. This is um, another one of the simple stories. Um, use simple stories that Little Dude collection here with some. This is cardstock behind it that I. Whoa, yay me. I use cardstock, right? You don't see me do that all that often. This is created with a couple of older Echo Park paper collections. They're a couple years old. I don't remember what the names of them are, but um, if you have questions again, just ask me. It would be hard to find these now because they're, they're probably two and three years old. This is, um, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to pull this aside so that I only do this one layout at a time so you guys can see these a little bit better. So this is some recollections paper that I happen to see and I'm going to pull that off my mat so you can see it a little bit better. One of the things I did is that when I was packing there were a couple of things that were like more unusual papers like I had an ice cream paper and I knew I had ice cream photos or this paper which I bought when I was at Michael's once because I loved it together and I hadn't used it. So I pulled it out and I put that in an envelope with um, some 8x10 photographs that I had pin printed. So I did any specialty things that I knew I wanted to do, plus some ephemera as well now that I think about it, in an envelope that this is another thing that I want to get done. So I guess this is goal number four. So anyway, there's that. And again, this is Recollections with um, uh, Crepe Paper or Maggie Holmes die cuts. Then this one is... Uh, basically L Studio here. So everything on this is L Studio. Older collections. This one is a Thanksgiving collection from a few years ago. I don't remember the name of it. But again, ask if you're wondering. And just a mixture of some of their um, enamel or acrylic shapes. Their letter stickers, which I love. I love L Studio. This again is that Echo Park um collection that I was uh, telling you about before and I got a little glue on that photo that I need to get taken care of um, these are Hobby Lobby letters so paper studio which is fun and I, maybe I'll grab a couple of these because I think I can make it work this way all right this is um, and you're seeing a lot of my stepson and his family here because there's I'm I wanted to get these 2017 photos done. I have them all 
in date order right now so they can go in my albums. Um, this is a Bella Boulevard, yeah, Bella Boulevard paper. And then I think everything else on here is pretty much L Studio, except for the font here. But yeah, it is. So you can see I'm also, while I'm doing this, I'm mixing manufacturers just like I do in a normal paper. One of the things I do do is I separate, I store my cardstock and faux solid papers just like I do when I'm at home. They're, they're in trays at home, they're in file folders. So my card stocks are all stored by color in a file folder, or a couple file folders actually. And then my faux solids, which is what I would consider this to be, are stored by color in another one. So like I was working with this photo and some of these papers, but I didn't have a background paper and I thought, oh, a red paper would be nice with this. And I went and I found this one. So that's kind of how I do it. I scrapbook, I guess the key is I scrapbook pretty much exactly like a scrapbook at home when I'm at a retreat. And I think that is a key to the amount of layouts that I do. This one is that uh, Simple Stories Little Dude collection. In this case, it's two little dudes and their dad. This one is Simple Stories Crafty Girl. So this was a story about me finishing up some of the wedding albums. So you can, I think, I don't know if I said this or not, but you can find them in uh, my playlists on YouTube if you're interested in that. I have lots of different playlists for different things. Then this one is uh, Paige Evans Papers here. Lots of L Studio uh, die cuts and cut aparts and then die, um, puffy stickers is what that is. And then these are just a couple of miscellaneous washi tapes here as well. All right, this one is Simple Stories, and I believe it's, this is I Am, Simple Stories I Am. It might be a combination of both I Am collections, the one that they released earlier this year and then the older one, which I think that's what this is, but this is Simple Stories as well. Then this, this is Bella Boulevard. I'm going to just take a peek if back. Oh, and then these two pieces of paper are a Doodlebug birthday collection that I don't remember what it's called. This is what I would consider another faux salad. So both of these are what I consider faux salad. So I just pulled them out of um, my faux salad when I knew I wanted like another layer. And oh, I got daring here. I slightly set that aside uh, off a little bit. It's not completely straight, which if you know me well, you know I like straight. And then L Studio, again, labels and some puffy stickers. This one makes me laugh. This is a story from when my uh, stepson and, and uh, daughter-in-law bought their first van. So this is, again, Simple Stories Little Dude with um, pieces from that collection as well here, too. All right, then this is more Paige Evans Pink Paisley, this sheet of paper. This is, I don't remember off the top of my head who that is, but it's not Paige Evans. It's a, from one of my so, faux salad um, area, uh, again. And then stickers. This is Washi is Even stickers, too, from the Paige Evans collection as well. More Paige Evans pink paisley here as well. I'm trying to work through the very first collection, so that's what's going on here. And that's what I'll do sometimes. That's another thing that makes me more efficient is I might have photos I want to scrapbook, but sometimes I'll just grab an envelope of paper and say, okay, I really want to dig into this and use a bunch of this up, whether it's new or old. And that's what I was doing here is I was using up some older product. I'm going to pull this off so you can see the edges of that a little bit better. So lots of pink paisley. And then L Studio uh, die cuts and cut aparts here, mostly. And then this is something I do every year. I hope you're going to be able to get this. But this is actually a two-page, one of the two-page layouts I do. And this is uh, my last one, I believe, for 2017. So I save my photo cards every year, cut the photos out, and then collage them all together. And then put in little um, 
embellishments. A lot of times I'll put strips like where this cardstock is showing. I'll put strips of my Christmas paper, like just some of the leftovers of my Christmas paper in there, except I didn't bring my Christmas paper. So I just left the cardstock there. I did pull in a couple of, um, you can't see this one, little pieces from cards. That worked with this but otherwise it's embellishments it's all the photos I just put the year on it somewhere this card happened to say Merry Christmas so I left that on there and I'm done and it's really fun I've been doing this for probably oh my gosh probably about 10 years now and it's really fun to see how the kids grow like these kids were little she was little when I started all of this so it's kind of a nice memory all right, so that is 2017 done. Pardon me a second. I'm just going to move my layouts. Okay, so now on to 2018. This is L Studio. Everything on this page is L Studio except for the alphabet here. And this is um, one of their family collections. Family something. I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> this is um, a combination of, I think, actually, I think this is all Doodlebug, but this is Doodlebug um, separate line. This is their so pun, so punny, or one of their so their pun lines, I, I, the newer one, I think. So for the taco paper for the tacos, which was our spring retreat when we made these. So, and then embellishments there. This is an L Studio card that I know for sure. And then funny washi. I love this collection. I want to eat more tacos just so I can use use um, those taco embellishments more. All right, so here starts the running layouts. If you don't like running layouts, you're going to see a lot of them, but don't worry about the fact that it's a running layout. Um, this is more Paige Evans as well here, and I'm again working on using up some of that product. I should tell you, Right now, if you want to use these for inspiration, it's going to be a little hard. But if you're part, if you're a member of Flickr, you can look me up. I'll link it in the description here. I post all my layouts to Flickr. So I have a really good friend who does use my layouts as inspiration on there. And I think other people do as well. So you can just go onto Flickr and you'll find them. And I do, I have them grouped by album, but those albums mean more to me than they will to you. All right, Oops. and I almost left a one out here. Oops. Okay, this is it's a lot of layouts to handle, guys. All right, this is um, this is a Kaiser Craft collection, and I don't remember what it's called, but this is Kaiser Craft. It is an older collection as well here too, but lots of die cuts and stickers from that collection. This paper, ah, this is another Doodlebug collection paper from that one of those so pun lines or more so pun or whatever it is. Stickers from there, L Studio die cuts and puffy stickers and that acrylic word is also L Studio. And my favorite scallop punch. All right, this is really cool. This is one of those pieces that I put in that special envelope. Remember I showed you the floral photos? When I was packing up, I ran again up, I saw this Hambly transparency and I'm like, you know, that has been in my stash too long. It needs to get used up. I love it, but I would forget about it. So I just pulled it out, put it in that envelope um, and used it on this layout about my breakfast. And this is a lot of Elle's Studio um, embellishments here. So you can actually do that as well when you're scrapbooking at home. If you're going through things and you find something, pull the piece of paper out or the embellishment out that you want to use and just put it to your right or left hand and then use it when you get inspired or make yourself use it right then. That's another thing that I'll do. So it's kind of fun sometimes to not just be inspired by a photo but to be inspired by the product that you have as well. Just a different way to scrapbook. All right, then another running layout. This is Pink Paisley here, Paige Evans Pink Paisley as well. So I was running in the woods up north. I live in Wisconsin and I was running way far north in the woods and was really excited about what a beautiful run I had that day. 
This is a double page layout here. So this is a layout that I did with my sister and brother-in-law. And so this is a combination of a couple of different things. I wanted it, it was a veterans run, even though it wasn't like on a day that um, was like 4th of July or Memorial Day or anything like that. But I wanted it to feel more patriotic. So these are um, from Chamel's, one of Chamel's collection, collections. And I think it's Starshine. I think it's Starshine. <laughs> so, um, and this paper I think is, uh, oh, that paper is a Bella Boulevard paper. Guys, I can tell sometimes by looking at the back. I can't always do that. L Studio card. These are some either Walmart or um, I'm pretty sure that these are just Walmart uh, stars and L Studio acrylic word there. And another two-page layout of another run here. And this is, I'm also pretty sure, Starshine. This is Bella Boulevard, L Studio card, and it's a printable, actually, from their shop. And then some of their puffy stickers on this one. This one was one of my favorite uh, layouts. And I don't know if you can tell this on the screen, but it is actually, one is actually darker than the other. And it's because this actually came from a paper pad, and this was one of the printed pieces. And it's a little bit darker, but you know what? I don't care. I'm just glad to have this in my um, books, and I love this paper, so I think it's fun. And sometimes I match papers. You know, you'll see me sometimes. I'll see if I can find an example of that. Sometimes I use the same background paper on both sides of the double page layout, and sometimes I don't. This is one of those cases where I did not. Uh, this is... Hmm... Oh, I know what this is. This is, I was just trying to figure out. This is this year's Simple Stories Summer Collection. Um, I believe it was called Summer Days. So that's what the two papers are. Some miscellaneous washi. These are dollar spot stickers at Target. Um, some, a die cut from the Simple Stories Collection. And then an old, old, old Bella Boulevard sticker. So the funny part about this is I was scrapping this one and the next one together. And I pulled embellishments out finish this up and realize that, so this is a story about how much my grandson loves ice and he likes to chew on ice actually, um, realized that I had used popsicles on it that I was really thinking about using on the next layout, but that's okay because it's ice and he loves ice. So, or ice lollies. It's better. Um, if I was in the UK, that would make more sense, I guess, or in England or London or something. Cause I think they're called ice lollies there. Anyway, this is, again, that Simple Stories Summer Days collection, and then this is all Simple Stories embellishments, stickers and things, um, mostly Summer Days, but some of their older collections as well, and an L Studio card here. I'm trying to get those up. I don't want to forget about the bottoms. Uh, the next one is another um, two-page layout, again, where I use the same background, and this is a color paper house collection called color something and it was a lot of these really cool watercolory papers and then I used this this washi tape um, is from Michaels it came in a pack and it goes with this so well um, a sticker from that collection a cut apart from um, oh not cut aparts these die cuts are from Vicki Booten, I believe. I'm not sure that's how you say her name, but one of her collections. And then these hearts are recollections. That's where those came from. So this was a fun run. It was at night. It was 80 degrees at the end of the race, so probably like 82 degrees. It was hot. <laughs> this, again, is at Kaiser Craft Collection. Again, um, another running the, uh, layout about the first time I ran seven miles. And just, I love this card that said, you got this girl and remember this feeling and be in love with your life. And it's how I feel about running. So a lot of times when I do running layouts, I do a photo and then um, a uh, screenshot of my route. Just to remind me what I did. All right. Um, this one is, again, that Simple Stories Summer Days collection combined with some of the old Simple Stories things. This was about a party that I go to every year and they theme it and this year it was a vinyl party so we played records and really records and then I just I found this VW bus 
um, brand. And I thought, when am I ever going to use a VW bus? So I put it on here, was all excited, and then realized I have a sticker and a die cut VW bus to use yet too. But that's okay. I have one on a layout. Die cuts from that Summer Days collection as well. All right, two page layout here. Again, this is one of those times where I might use different papers across, although they're very similar. So my two background papers are two different colors. They happen to be the same pattern in this particular case, but I unite them by using other papers that are the same that go across the layout. So there's a little hint if you're having problems with two page layouts. Um, if, you're, if you want to use different backgrounds, I don't have two of many of my papers in my stash. Very few of them do I have two of. So I'll do like I did here. This one is one 12 by 12 paper here even too that I believe I cut to just cut it in half and put it in the back here. So, and then there's, um, so Bella Boulevard, this is all Bella Boulevard papers, Bella Boulevard chipboard, chipboard um, here. This is a paper studio, so Hobby Lobby Alpha. And then, uh, you can't see that good. And that's an L Studio card. I keep forgetting to look when I've got a two pager. Uh, this is more simple stories, little dude with some cardstock behind it, and again, uh, chipboard and stickers, and then um, cut apart. Those are all little dude. And one of my favorite photos that I've taken of my grandsons ever, much less this year. So they were very intent in watching what was going on in that um, pond. So very cool for me, anyway. All right. So the next one. This is a good example of one of those things that I did where my background papers are very different. So this is a two-page layout about my grandson's first soccer practice, his very first soccer experience. It happened to happen on the day that my stepson and his wife were moving, so poor mom and dad didn't get to go, but grandma did. So this is a Hobby Lobby paper of soccer balls, and I don't know what this one is. I picked it up at my local scrapbook store. Um, but you'll see that really the only common thing they have is this paper, but I didn't even stretch it across the whole layout because I didn't have enough of it. But there's a lot of green here, 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 and here, and a lot of green here. And then I used just some soccer ball stickers. This was fun for me to do. It's very themed, but I really had fun doing this. So more soccer stickers from, I don't remember. I do have um, these left though. So anyway, so this is an example of how you can do a two-page layout that works together but looks very, very different from side to side, but it still works because the soccer ball is in common and the green is in common here. All right. Next, I have this layout, and this is the Simple Stories uh, newer I am collection here. This is one of those where I told you I do running layouts. Um, and this one was funny. I needed, my mom's car was in the shop and I needed to run and um, pick it up for her or pick it up for her because she wasn't in town. And I was going to call a friend and just thought, you know, I could probably run and pick that up. So I did. I map quested it to figure or mapped it to figure out how long it was. It was four miles and I ran across town and picked up my mom's car that way. It was one of those really cool moments. This um, paper, this is another paper that I pulled and put in that special envelope. I had this one and I'm like single and am remaining single at the moment. Don't have like anyone special in my life and I'm okay with that right now. So um, I wanted to use that paper up on some kind of layout. In this particular case, I used a romantic paper on an um a paper about ice cream and not just about ice cream but my favorite ice cream spot in the entire world this happens to be a um, gift card that some friends of mine bought me for that and it's where I go up north it's not where I live so this store is like four hours and it's seasonal so unless I'm there in the summer I don't get this ice cream but anyway so um, I don't know what this paper is this is Bella Boulevard and um, this is El Studio and I think these are some, I think this actually might have been something from um, Chamel, but maybe not. I don't remember. This is L Studio, the puffy stickers, and then that is L Studio as well. Some of this stuff I won't remember. This is more um, Paige Evans, Pink Paisley. 
And that's what all of this is except for the alpha. This is obviously, you're seeing lots of really great photos of me sweaty with no makeup on. I'm going to just pull this out of there. So um, this is another one of those papers that watercolory from Paper House Productions. And then um, just a border strip of theirs. This is um, from a sticker book of theirs. The marbled paper. Like I said, if you want to know what that is, just shoot me a comment and I'll let you know. Okay, so here's a two-page layout. Actually, it's four pages because I had so many pictures from this run that I actually did a four by six or a six by twelve insert with um I think it's four no it's five photos and a piece of memorabilia. But I'm gonna pull this apart so you don't see that right now to show you what this is. So very very different. I don't know who this polka dot paper is but this is a story of my first 10k I'm trying to get this up so you guys can see the whole thing here this is a recollections paper this is something else so this was done on a trail and we ran I joke this is my sister that ran the 10k with me and I was giving her a hard time because she picked our spot and we basically ran up a mountain, up and down a mountain, this whole 10K for 6.2 miles. It was crazy. So I said she's never allowed to pick our route again unless I, um, or our run again unless I have prior approval. But um, anyway, so it was very woodsy and I wanted wood on this. So I found this paper from Recollections. I found this journaling card that had wood on it. And then I used um, some L Studio puffy stickers. That's a... Pink Fresh Studio sticker that says this moment means every lovely word I can think of because man when I was done I was so excited and I brought in um, these small letter stickers here to say first 10k I'm gonna pull this sideways so you guys can see that a little bit better and then I added them back into this other side on a couple of photos so that even though the backgrounds are very different here, the photo arrangement is completely different. Sometimes you can do that where you do kind of the, a mirror image of the photos to get the layout to kind of um, look this like it's cohesive. In this particular case, that's not true, but I was using product to do this. So I used this product. I used these puffy stickers here to do that. And then I used these hearts, which I believe are from Pebbles, um, to do that same thing too. And then on my insert here I used like I had another piece of that wood grain paper so I used that behind some of these I used the puffy stickers on these so that they'll kind of all work together my sister um, won first place uh, in our age group so we're both over 50 I don't think she'll kill me for saying that it's true so anyway her results are online so but that'll just lay in here like this. There were This was such a momentous, huge occasion for me. I run 10Ks all the time. I was running 10Ks all the time, but it was my first official one, and it was really hard, really, really hard. And I talked to other runners there that day who run even more than I do, and they thought the same thing. It was a tough, tough, tough um, run. So I recently was on a vacation to visit both of my nephews out on the East Coast. And so this is a layout about me sitting in the airport and I'm doing one of my favorite things. I love arriving early so I can have like coffee, especially if I fly out in the morning and sit and read my book. So this is um, really basically the crepe paper here and now collection with a um, pink Paisley Page Evans Alpha there. This, this paper's gotten a lot of questions on the message board. This is the crepe paper arrival paper in case anybody's interested because I've had more than one question about that paper. Chamel has one in her Go Now Go collection that's fairly similar, but it's more colorful than this. And again, this is crepe paper here and now. So this is one of those cases where I had that collection out, pulled out my photos that I wanted to scrap from this trip or at least the start of them and just started going because it's a travel collection. This is that ice cream paper I told you that I pulled out into my special envelope. So that ice cream paper, oh, is um, Illustrated Faith. That's where that came from with Bella Boulevard, which is kind of the same company, but not exactly. Bella Boulevard, the stars, um, and then just other pieces I pulled out from different 
places. So L Studio, these stickers are all Chamel stickers. So is that from her big sticker book about another ice cream? You know, I'm on like a tour of ice cream shops, which is why I have to run. <laughs> and then this is um, just a story about Delaware. This is some paper I bought at my local scrapbook store. I had up until this point had been in to 40 out of 48 or 47 out of 50 states. I knew when I was driving from one nephew's to the other, I flew into an airport and then drove um, from basically DC up to Pennsylvania. I knew that I would go through Delaware, so I stopped at a museum so that I could get my feet on the ground because that's my rule, and then um, scrapbooked about that. So um, this is a specialty paper, and then I bought this at a scrapbook expo. Somebody had uh, state die cuts, and they were just kind of cool, and I knew I was going to be going to Delaware. so. And then just titled it number 48 because that's state number 48. Um, I have plans to go to Oregon next year, which is state number 49. And then Idaho will be my last state in 2020 probably, but we'll see. All right. Um, this gold paper is another one of those papers that I pulled out into my envelope and wanted to use it. So when I came upon these papers or these pictures, I thought, oh, that would look cool with that gold paper. So a lot of this on here is crepe paper, Paige Evans collections, really, that's, these tickets are from Carousel. Um, but this paper is, I believe, a recollect, uh, oh, it's a Hobby Lobby paper, studio paper. So it's about the Rodin Museum in Philadelphia. All right, then, um, this is crazy, but this is one of my absolute favorite layouts I've made this year. Uh, the reason being, I just love how it came out. So when I was in Philadelphia, we had this, um, we went to a coffee place called, um, I thought I wrote it down here, Lacombe. It's C-O-L-O-M-B-E. It's right by Independence Hall, if you go visit Independence Hall, guys. And they do this really cool thing called a draft latte. And then they take the draft latte and put it on regular coffee. And they call it a black and tan, just like... Um, you do a black and tan with beer. So when we t when I took this picture of our coffee, because I posted something funny to my um, Instagram and Facebook page about, you know, black and tan at 8 a.m. And then I said, you know, not even me. I can have a beer at that hour. This is coffee. It's really cool. Oh, and here's Lacombe right there. I missed it. Or Columbia, whatever it is called. Anyway, so I just love, I envisioned using only black and tan or khaki papers. And I love how it turned out because the titles that way and then the other thing that was cool is I have this cheeky studio all this cheeky studio latte love ephemera which is what all these die cuts are and then the flare and I hadn't used it yet so this was really cool because I was able to use that as well in a big way um, I know this black piece is Bella Boulevard so are the stars obviously this is old Lily B, really old Lily B. Those of you who are new to scrapbooking wouldn't even know of that company. This is a Bella Boulevard older piece. And then these are some me and my idea, big ideas cards that I got in a pack about a wedding, actually. Um, so anyway, love, love, love. And then I actually stamped. Yay for me. I stamped on my layout. All right. Um, this, again, another one of those specialty papers that I pulled out. This is an old Studio Calico paper with um, some doilies from, from Hobby Lobby that you can find in their cake decorating area. And then I just combine it with some Dear Lizzie um, paper. And I don't remember where these stickers came from. They might be Maggie Holmes crepe paper, but I don't know that for sure. I don't remember. And then this is the third grandchild. Um, of mine. So this is uh, my granddaughter. She was kind of, it was fun to have a granddaughter after um, two boys. You've seen layouts with her before, but she's six months old. So there's my sweet little chunky girl. She's so cute. Her brothers were chunky, especially her older brother was chunky like that. The minute they start to walk, they lose all the, their baby fat. And I always say to her mom, why is it so cute on her, but not so cute on me? So anyway, um, these are Echo Park Bundle of Joy papers and stickers and chipboard. There's a couple of Bundle of Joy collections, but that's what this is. And then here are, here's the three of them together. So my granddaughter and her two older brothers on her six-month day. 
as well. And that's all Echo Park as well. It's hard to see the title online, but I think you can see if I lift this up, you can actually read it. It's so loved because they love her to pieces. This, um, this I think is my favorite layout that I've done this year. So this, I found this sentiment on a t-shirt on Facebook and I screenshotted it because I loved it. So it says, I don't run to win races, nor do I run to get places. I run to escape this world. I run to find peace with myself. I run to feel free and I run to feel strong. So I wanted, this is a picture of me during that 10K. And at this point, guys, I was really exhausted from running up those mountains but um i took that sentiment this is all the simple stories i am collection including stickers and the chipboard butterflies and then these are chamel letters this is an old sassafras letter sticker i'm going to take this i think and maybe frame this in my scrapbook room because it's a good inspiration for me but this this isn't my favorite layout because it's technically correct that the design is so fantastic it's just, I love the sentiment and I love how you can take something like this and use it as inspiration for yourself. This is the start of my fourth big project here. So I'm just going to take those 2018 layouts. These are also 2018, but this is my new great nephew. So one of the reasons I was out east was because I was visiting him and his parents. So let me show you. So this is the start of his baby book. This will be the first layout. And I didn't block this, so I'm going to do this now. So you can't see this. There's a, too much information about him here. But this is the card um, that I believe was actually on his um, his bassinet in the hospital. Um, this is... This is Echo Park Bundle of Joy as well. I'm combining a couple of different Bundle of Joy collections within these layouts, but that's what all of this is. So there he is, my sweet, sweet boy. All right, and then in the baby book, it'll open with that page, but then there's going to be two more pages here. One of them is this very simple collage. This is one of the 8 by 10 things that I stuck in that special envelope of pictures of his parents while they were dating. And actually, these are pretty recent. These two dated from the time they were in 8th grade um, until they were married at 22. So, um, but these are just some pictures. I think it'll be fun for him to see mom and dad before he was. And then this is a wedding photo of them. And I'll have to remember to also put this in my wedding um, album uh, play, uh, folders on Flickr as well, too. So that's just a really simple treatment. Their wedding album is not really these colors, but because it was going in his baby book, I wanted it. So I just entitled this one The Beginning. And then this, I'm going to do the same thing here because I forgot to put... Um, Forgot to put the, um, put, I was going to put uh, post-it notes on top of these, but these are their bracelets. So his bracelets and his mom's bracelet. This is his little hat from the hospital. And what I did is I just sewed it on. I didn't want to put any glue on it, but I just sewed it at four corners here. And then this is cute. These are his footprints. So that'll be fun. It's a special way to save some special things. And again, recollections paper here. This is that recollections uh, wood paper. And then this is the um, more of that Echo Park Bundle of Joy collection. And then these are Pebbles stars. So I'm going to just shift my hand so you can see the bottom of that a little bit better. Sorry for my hand having to be there, guys. All right. And then this is... Just a picture that my niece took of the heart monitor uh, while they were there. And then um, that Echo Park Bundle of Joy collection. And there's lots more of these kinds of layouts to come. It's just this is what I have done so far. So some pictures of him in the hospital using that Echo Park collection. And this kind of chevron can get your eyes going, but I think if you use it in smaller doses, like I did here, it's not quite so bad. And then here is a picture of Mama with baby boy in the hospital. And again, using all, this is all from that. Uh, the font is not, that's I think a, maybe a Pebbles font. But the rest of this, um, except for the enamel dots, which I think are my mind's eye. But everything else is from one of those Bundle of Joy collections. They have boy and girl collections, obviously. This is my nephew. 
you doing some skin to skin time. Probably one of my favorite photos. So, and again, bundle of joy. And then this is kind of fun. I had all of these stickers and die cuts with things like, like welping, welcoming the baby, like, um, welcome to the world. It's a boy. Welcome baby. And all of that. And I wanted to use him up because I didn't have a ton of hospital photos of him when he was brand, brand new. So I thought, or like this brand sparkling new. So this, I just, um, took all of those and made them kind of like a little border down the side here. This is a layout that took me a while because I couldn't figure out how to get them on. And all of a sudden I came up with this idea, put the picture here and it worked beautifully. So this was a fun way to use up some stickers and die cuts if you have anything like that. This is kind of a fun idea. So my niece has saved all of his little checkup appointments so far. I'm going to put these to the side. Actually, we'll do it like this so you can't see any big details. Um, and I just made a, I have a piece of cardstock that matches all that other stuff. Put checkups on here, added a little kind of ruler piece and now all she has to do is slip all those checkups in there and what it does is on the bottom of that paper it gives the age the weight and what percentile the weight is and then this is in another language but on the side here it tells like things to look for um, about your baby or things to you know kind of whatever anyway things to look out for so what can happen now is all she has to do is just keep these she'll be able to slip them right in behind each other that's why I didn't put them down is I wanted her to be able to just add to it as she wanted to so that was a fun page to do and obviously very simple all right guys so that was the last layout of all of the pages that I did for this um for this a scrapbook retreat. Like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Hopefully you're not, um, you haven't fallen asleep. That was a long one, I know. But um, like I said, I kept getting questions about whether I was going to do a scrapbook share and I thought, what the heck, I'll do it. So hope you guys are all well. I'll be back with a 